Hello and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. I'm your host, Lollipop 81 MLE, here today with this third episode of my AG Historical and Be Forever at Hogwarts. The second part in Felicity's world, to be exact. Well, episode two, part two, actually. So we're doing the side characters for in Felicity's in Elizabeth's world. And I'm starting with Nan Merriman. And if you guys if you guys haven't read the books, you know Nan is Felicity's younger sister, her first younger sister ever. And I aged her up to age 12 for this. And yeah, she looks like she's 10, but she's 12. She she looks younger than her age. So of course, with Nan, she is the polar opposite of Felicity. Like, Felicity is spunky and more tomboyish. Nan is more girly and more proper ladylike. And she follows the rules. She's very hard work. For, for me, she's very hard working in that. And plus, in, her, in the stories, Nan is six to seven years old. Six, seven, and then turning eight, like, after the events of changes for Felicity. So, anyways, I wanted to make... I rarely do a lot of kid characters a lot because like they always turn out like way too they look like chibi way too old uh, chibi characters like that's for me I rarely do a lot of kid characters like if there's kid characters I'm gonna age them up to teenagers at least so with with Nan I gave her green eyes like her sister and they're both redheads so naturally as you will see in a bit, I do give Nan um, some red hair because, again, they're both red. The Merrymans are redheads after all. So, um, but again, I made Nan very youthful in this. Of course, I give her her carrot, like her gingery red hair again. And um, anyways, um, what? Oh, and both Nan and, um, you will see later, Annabelle, they have the same outfit as I did with Felicity and Elizabeth. So, you'll see that in a bit. So, I gave her some curls, all that stuff. Made her cute, Miss Earth, but she, again, she's a 12-year-old. and it's, She's 12. And, again, I'm going in with the highlights. And you'll see what house I decided to sort her in. And of course with these mob caps, I have to like turn off the background layer because I use white. And um, you can't see it until you put in the transparent layer. And here is the house I decided to sort Nan in. I sorted her into Hufflepuff. And come on. She's our first Hufflepuff in the group. In this project, actually. Not the first main American girl character. She's the first sibling character that I did that she that is a Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff pride, guys. Come on. Hashtag Hufflepuff pride. So, again, I did with the same style as I did before. And I'm going to go, like, with the differences between Nan's character in the books and the Nan that we got in our dolls. So with our dolls Nan or Nathy, Nancy, Merriman, Nancy, Mer Nan is more tomboyish. Like basically she takes after Felicity. Well, Felicity is more of the proper lady. But in reality, Nan is the more proper one and Felicity is more of the tomboy. And honestly, I do like that they make the girl... The Gothard sisters made Nan into a tomboy, probably as she got older. But again, like maybe it's just a phase. But I do admire um, the town of Pleasantville and all that shiz. I will get into that a lot in this like project about what I like about our dolls and the town of Pleasantville. Come on, every American girl has grew up with Pleasantville. And here's her wand. Um, I gotta look up what I did for hers. Hold on a second. Like, I have the piece right here on my DeviantArt page. And like I said, all this, all these were, all three of these pieces are on my, uh, DeviantArt page. Oh yeah, it's Cedarwood. Sorry. Her one is Cedar. 
and she's in the sunlight and she's casting some plant magic. So here's Nan completed, all cute, our first Hufflepuff of the group. And uh, next I did was Benjamin Davison. Now Benjamin is Felicity's father, the, the apprentice to Felicity's father. And our first male character that I did. Now, when I was, like, thinking about Ben, like, when I was doing the, like, researching his character, like, it made me seem like he was more Ravenclaw. But no, if you get into Felicity Saves the Day, um, Ben ran away to join the um, Patriots in the Revolutionary War. So that puts in my mind that Ben is a Gryffindor like Felicity. He's just the male equivalent. And of course I've aged him up to like 21. And again I have a hard time. Most of the time I don't do well. I do do okay with guys. So I gave him brown eyes and brown hair like in his illustrations and all that shiz. So with Ben I thought he would be courting Felicity. Like like, if my memory serves me right, I actually messed up on the lips. That was the hardest part. I'm sorry, I'm going Canadian right here. I'm from the U.S. I messed up on the lips, so I had to, like, go in and fix them a lot, as you will watch, without making him look, um, without making him look too feminine. So, anyways, with Ben, after I did the research, as it turns out, Annabelle has a crush on Ben, Despite the fact that Annabelle is a fierce loyalist. Fierce loyalist, guys. Come on. So, basically, with Ben, he may seem like a shy guy. But he does help out Felicity. He does lend her his breeches. So that, um, like, so that Felicity could go and, um, tame Penny in the books. And I made... Um, Ben's attire more mass gave him the, the traditional male attire of the 18th century with a vest and a cloak, all that shiz, shinizzles and whatnot. And it was interesting doing his cloak too. I don't remember what wand I gave him though, but I did give him a wand, but he is a fiery, he's very tough. Once you get to know him, he's very tough, a tough guy. And another big difference with the books and the movie, Ben just escorts Felicity to the palace, the governor's palace for the dance lessons, and he just leaves. But then you get the movie, he not only escorts her, he freaking, he freaking attends the freaking ball. And, and that's the thing, it was a ball in the movie and all that stuff. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Anyways, I did give him britches and all that great stuff. And with the black, the tip I like to give, I, again, I did add buttons. So a thing I like to like mention, um, I did give him like gold trim <coughs> because he's a Gryffindor. And with black, the thing is, with black, you have to go lighter. You have to go with the grayscale, and I, that's what I did here. And, like, the outline has to be, like, a light gray. So the inside, of course, is Gryffindor red or scarlet, whatever the heck it pronounces you. I have to get to the shoes. I actually, at this point, I did forget to do the shoes. <laughs> because I usually do, like, cloaks last. For this, so here we go. I, I'm going in with the shoes. Going in with the shoes. With the traditional buckle. Stuff as we all know that the Patriots and the Loyalists both wear, but I think the Loyalists wore fancier shoes. But this is what the Patriots usually wore. And now here's his wand. And I don't remember. Don't think I gave him a wand type. I think it. I think it was um. I think it was Elderwood or something. So at this point, I had to fix his face. I had to fix his like shirt or chemise. So I gave him a nighttime background. Have some hair flowing around. Put some details in the background. The grass. 
have some light, his magic there, some shadows, and all that stuff. And Ben is complete right there. Here we go. Here's Ben completed. And now the last one I did, like I mentioned, is Annabelle. Annabelle was kind of the hardest doing her face because I didn't, like, honestly, I almost made her look like an ugly stepsister. And Annabelle is not really ugly, like, every time I did her. So I did her like that. I had her hold her wand and all that. It's, so I gave her a sly look on her face, like a, with a snicker. And naturally, I had to sort her into Slytherin, our first Slytherin in the series. She's in, again, Annabelle is Elizabeth's sister, older sister. And I did give her a different, like, expression, different angle of her face. Like, again, I took figure drawing. So I learned, like, facial angles and all that stuff. And I made her, her wand, her pose with her wand reminds me of Narcissa Malfoy. Like, her, like, promotional uh, photo. And I gave her brown eyes and brown hair. Spoiler alert. But I did end up doing a good job surprisingly did a good job on Annabelle and I fixed her nose so anyways I had I, I forgot I didn't put her hair in her hood of her cloak so I because I did the sketch like that like her hair swooped to her right so and again her ribbon is cream colored and her mom cat I put a different color background for doing all the white the ruffles and the collars and all that shiz. I did it in like a turquoise, a dark a blue green, just so I can do the cap and the, the neckline, the low neckline, the, the low neckline and the, the cuffs right there. And I, of course, yes, I noticed I had left some spots there. But again, I'm covering that with the green um, skirt that symbolizes Slytherin. And I do have some Slytherin friends, and despite the stereotype, Slytherins aren't that, um, not all Slytherins are evil. There, there are nice Slytherins. It's just the dark wizards that just give Slytherin a bad name. And I actually went with a light green. That's another tip for, like, people, for characters that have, like, black hair or black clothing. Either you go gray through the gray scale or do like the green like a darker color um thing so i put her at the edge of the forest and all that stuff and that is annabelle completed and i hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe and follow me on my social medias like down in the description below and i'll see you next time peace out